Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Drayton and I'm a contact centre sales specialist here at Cisco. We've put together a few videos for you which demonstrate the WebEx contact centre platform. Uh, it demonstrates some of the advanced features and functions that you can leverage as part of the platform natively and hopefully through these videos you'll be able to match some of the needs and requirements you have for your business and understand the value proposition and how Cisco and WebEx Contact Center can help your business. Please feel free to subscribe and like this video. We'll be releasing a series of them. And in the meantime, I'll hand over to Mark Brown, who will take us through today's demonstration. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to contact me and you can see my contact details are there at the bottom of the screen. Mark, over to you. Thanks, Matt. So today we're going to be looking at the WebEx Contact Center. So the WebEx Contact Center is one of two cloud-based offerings provided by Cisco, purely focused on contact centers. So this is our public cloud offering and provides an omni-channel experience for both customers and agents. It's browser-based, no VPN required, so it's great for mobile or remote workers. They simply fire up the agent desktop using a browser all standard browsers and operating systems are supported as you will expect uh, from Cisco. So I'm um, simply just going to put in my email address. Once I put in my email address, it's then obviously going to ask me for a password and then we're going to sign in. So as it signs in, what you see is from the initial startup page as we'll be actually asked um, how we actually want to log in or provide a destination number. So the great thing about this platform is, is an overlay to all call control platforms. So if you're an existing Cisco Unified Communications a manager user, then this is an overlay onto that platform, as well as it being tightly integrated into WebEx calling, but it's not limited to Cisco call control platforms. It can quite easily work with Microsoft Teams as a call control endpoint or any other call control environment. So simply what happens is when you log in, it's asking me to put in a dial number. Now this is the telephone number uh, in which is associated to an endpoint. So any call that comes through the contact center as it goes through its journey through an IBR and a very sophisticated scripting engine, then that call will be delivered to an agent on the telephone number provided. So this could be a mobile, your home number. And again, gives a lot of flexibility. In this particular uh, uh, scenario, we're actually using WebEx calling, so we have this tightly integrated into the WebEx contact center. I have a Cisco phone here that's been uh, re-imaged to, to support the WebEx calling application, or you can use a, a soft client um, associated to WebEx calling. But I'm simply just going to put my extension number in, uh, and then we're pretty much good to go from a calling perspective. So when we log in, it'll actually start to build out. So the, the premise of the agent desktop itself is we've made this very customizable and it's very modular in the way that it actually provides information to an agent based on the interaction or channel in which a customer is coming through. So if we just quickly walk through. So uh, top right where we see the MB, uh, if I click on this, there are a number of things that um, I can actually do within the uh, agent desktop environment. So obviously I can sign out. I have information about myself and I can actually see the dialed number that I've actually um, uh, put in. Um, I can quite simply switch between teams that so may be configured uh, as one team. Uh, I may be scheduled throughout a day to move into another team and then by actually joining that other team, the agent desktop will dynamically change to reflect the tools that are required for the agent to take those interactions. We then have information on channel capacity or capability. So what this is actually showing is a breakdown of the various channels that are being presented to that agent. And this again is all configured uh, within the administration or management portal of the platform. But for this particular agent, one voice call, up to two emails, two chats, or four, four social interactions. So whether that's Facebook Messenger or SMS, they sit within that social bucket. The agent has control over notifications and notification settings. So this is the volume. So any new interaction, customer interaction is presented to an agent, it will pop within the agent desktop. 
and then they'll get an audible notification as, as well as silent notifications or to toaster type pop-ups. We then have uh, the ability to reset the desktop. Because the desktop is, is modular, as we start to have calls, um, emails coming in, um, and the agent desktop dynamically changing to present the various tools to be able to uh, then communicate with the customer. Um, these All of these things can actually be moved around. Uh, and based around that, you may get to a point where you, an agent needs to actually reset the desktop and take it back to its default uh, level. We also can run this in dark mode, which is what we tend to see in most modern applications this day day and age is to actually be able to have the freedom to be able to use it in the way that you, you choose to free, use it. We have keyboard shortcuts. So this is more of a, a legacy feature, but it's still used in a lot of contact centers today. So instead of actually using the desktop to actually answer a call or handle an email or, or any of the associated interactions, we have these shortcut keys that enable you to be able to, at the click of a button, be able to do a particular process. All the way through to error reporting. So uh, if you get into a situation where you have a problem on your desktop, we're able to record that information, which can then be sent in through a partner or through or through directly to Cisco. So we can actually help to actually fault find to get a better understanding of some of the issues that may have been actually incurred. Thanks, Mark, for that introduction to the user interface of WebEx Contact Center. We'll shortly be following up with more videos which will demonstrate the advanced capability and first and foremost how a call is handled. So please come and join us again and we look forward to seeing you on our next video.